A local mother knows all too well the pain associated with hearing an officer has been shot. Pat Butterfield's son, Trooper Paul Butterfield, was executed by a man nearly two years ago, left for dead on the side of the road. In part two of our series tonight, she tells our David Custer about her struggle to cope and how she's keeping his legacy alive. A mother's heartache. It was hard to even do anything. A state trooper found shot lying on the side of the road. He didn't answer or talk to me, but he did pick up his head. And he was patting his chest. And a murderer taking his own life behind bars. It's a story that shocked a small town. A state trooper conducting a routine traffic stop, gunned down and left for dead. And it left his two parents grieving the loss of their only child. But that pain was just the beginning for Pat Butterfield. Silence, a familiar sound for this mom. The only sounds echoing off the walls of her once vibrant home are memories of the life she once knew. I'm just starting now to get back into doing things and putting things together. Pat can't soon forget the chapter two and a half years ago that began to unravel the threads of comfort in her happy home. I remember we got home and we weren't in the house more than, oh, maybe... 10 minutes. A man in uniform at her front door delivering news, news that still plays out in her mind. Pat's only son, Michigan State Trooper Paul Butterfield, had been shot and left for dead on the side of the road in rural Mason County on September 9th of 2013. Butterfield had pulled over 19-year-old Eric Nyes. Following protocol, he called in Nyes's plate and location. It would be his last call back. Nyes shot Butterfield in the head as he walked up to his truck. Butterfield died in surgery later that night. Nyes found guilty of first-degree murder, but would later kill himself behind bars, leaving yet another wound on Pat's heart, now facing the death of the man who took her only child's life. You can't be happy, you can't be sad, you can't be, it was really, you know, it was something that you can't explain to people, you know, like, oh yeah, I'm glad he's not with us anymore, you know, it just, she and her husband, retired state trooper Paul Sr., were left to tackle their grief together. I mean, we've lost our son. I mean, there's, how, how, can, how can you ever, you know, replace that? You can't. And then Pat was dealt another blow. About nine months after Paul died or was murdered, um, my husband lost his battle to leukemia. So... Uh, yeah, that kind of left me to take care of the rest of the things. Things that were once easy for a couple, but now alone, a new challenge. So we decided at that time to establish a scholarship. And that's, we talked about it, but then Paul's dad passed away before we could actually get it into practice. Pat made it a reality. Any Michigan State Trooper or member of their family can apply to receive $1,000 towards their education. Last year, we were able to supply three people with a, a scholarship, and I'm hoping to do the same this year. She hopes the scholarship will create more troopers like both her husband and her son, who she never thought would follow in his father's footsteps. As a little boy, you know how everyone says, well, I'm not going to do that because that's my dad, you know, because of my dad. But uh, yeah, it just turned out that way. Yeah, it was... It was kind of unique. And she hopes her beloved son's story will be shared for years to come, as her cherished memories are the only thing to deafen the silence of her broken heart. You know, people call him, I guess, a hero, but, um, you know, he, he was a hero because of how he lived, not how he died. David Custer, WNEM TV5. And tonight at 11, we continue to honor the families of those brave men and women who gave their lives in the line of duty. In the final part of our series, the widow of Trooper Chad Wolf, who was killed in a traffic accident last summer, sits down for her first TV interview since that fateful day. You'll hear her story and what's giving her the strength to carry on.